The only thing you'll need for this project is some popsicle sticks, some stain, um, a glue gun, and some glue, and some scissors. So the first thing we want to do is cut off all the round part of the ends on the popsicle sticks. Doesn't really matter if they're jagged or uneven, is make them about the same size because you don't want them sticking out on the ends. If you get little shards of wood that sticks up, you can just kind of brush that off. Um, or you can take the ends and just sort of go like this with it. The next step is to start staining the popsicle sticks. Um, the idea is you don't want to necessarily paint them, like see how dark that got? Um, we don't want to make them painted, we just want to stain them so they're not that nice, beautiful, bright color. So you're just going to go through and just do all of these. I've started putting them together and I have two on the bottom and two placed on the top. I'm going to place a third beam in the middle for extra support. You'll now want to just simply take the popsicle sticks and lie them across. So I'm going to place some crazy glue right here and, and right here. And then I'm going to place it, and you just need to make sure you space them about the same. It doesn't need to be perfect because, honestly, palettes are not perfect. So just put a little pressure, and then it will sit there and dry. Here I have two of them finished. This one was done with a hot glue gun. As you can see, it's a little bit more messy, although that could have been my fault as well. Um, but you can see the glue underneath a little bit. So if you do, if you go a little bit slower, I guess I was probably going a little fast, maybe make these um, not as big, it'll be a little bit more clean. Um, I did choose to do super glue with this one, and as you can see, it looks so much better. Like you can't see any of the glue on the inside. Um, it looks exactly the same. A little fuzz there. But it's a lot cleaner. And this is our palette coaster.